Very good question. So part of the reason why we didn't want to talk about the trading side is exactly what you mentioned. If you actually have a really good trading algorithm, you mm -hmm. don't advertise it. You don't put it as an API out there on the web for people to go use. Competitive advantage. Sorry? It's a competitive advantage? It's, yeah, it is a competitive advantage, and it, it just gets arbitraged away. Mm -hmm. So, um, but our approach was quite unique. Rather than looking for, uh, you know, uh, some sort of pattern in, uh, uh, you know, an equity uh, curve and deciding, okay, uh, you know, is there, is this thing going to go up or down? And then handing that information as a classification off to the next step in the pipeline to decide how to trade it. We thought, well, at the end of the day, it's about decision making. It's not simply about pattern matching. And so let's come up with a rule set. Uh, you know, the complete code for a robot, if you like, that would actually automatically trade. So mm. this is sort of a meta programming. It's a program that writes its own code. Wow. Uh, so we use the evolutionary computation to, uh, in a very distrib massively distributed, scaled way, actually author the code for trading strategies. Hey everybody, let me take a moment to tell you about a product I love and use every day. It's video hosting from Wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, Wistia. It is awesome. And who uses it? MailChimp, Moz, HubSpot, Zendesk, Herman Miller, Sam Adams, and of course, This Week in Startups. They've got 140,000 customers um, and they are growing like a weed. Now, why do we use it? Well, if we use a free service like YouTube, we have all YouTube's ads and collaterals and garbage and it looks terrible and it's not customizable. So it looks bad and everything that YouTube does is in service of increasing their metrics. Not your metrics. Well, what are your metrics as a business? Well, for me, it's collecting emails. Two, it's having people on my domain, my site, making it look beautiful, not having that ugly thing that comes up at the end of like a YouTube video that shows all the different videos of other people that I don't want to send my users to. I want, when the video ends, for them to watch another episode of This Week in Startups. I can control all of that with Wistia. That's why I use it. And it works perfectly on Facebook and Twitter with the cards, and you, know, you can play it natively on those platforms. It's gorgeous and it'll give you a ton of support. You want to take control of your video. Video is a huge asset and you want to do it professionally. The analytics program is amazing. You can see on a user by user basis how long they're watching and if they rewound and watch a, a section twice, all this kind of great stuff. Um, tons of support, super easy to use. And it's built, uh, a lot of their new tools are built for marketers, so collecting emails and that kind of stuff. And you don't have YouTube or Vimeo doing that kind of stuff. Those platforms have their own goals, which is selling ads and keeping people on their platforms and stealing those users from your platform. Start your two-week trial for free on Wistia. Wistia.com slash twist. No credit card is required because they're so confident that you're going to love the service like I do. And you can upload as many videos as you like. Wistia.com slash twist. W-I-S-T-I-A. Wistia. Dot com slash twist. I love the product. I love the team. And it's been fantastic for us. We got control of our own videos again. And we are now collecting emails every day, dozens of emails every week, hundreds of emails every year, thousands of emails to build our direct relationship. That is not have an intermediary between it, telling us how we can talk to you, our fans. We have a direct relationship. It's brilliant. I love Wistia. All right, let's get back to this amazing episode.